This is a demonstration of how to use the GoVivace speaker identification demo page. Notice our URL. Type that into your browser. We're using Chromecast. And then you'll get this page with three tabs, Home, Searched File, and Enrolled File. If you click on Enrolled File, you can see all of the voices that have been enrolled and the associated names with them. Many of them are just tests by myself and other people from GoVivace. When you have a successful enrollment, you can expect to find the name you've assigned to yourself in this list as well. So going back to the home screen, let's scroll down here and start with the enroll action. To enroll, we want to make sure we give ourselves a name that's identifiable to whoever will be reading the results. In this case, we'll just use Brian L. Gar. If I were to type in a name I've already enrolled under, it would be appending the, the new recording data to the existing data. In this case, I want to create a brand new enrollment. Now, for enrollment, you should have something in the way of a document that you can read. It doesn't matter what language it's in, but something that will last maybe about two minutes. So, in this case, I'm going to pull a document into the screen, which is something from Wikipedia about the Grand Canyon. And I'm going to read this much of it, and that should really do it. So, we'll start uh, by uh, clicking on record and then I'm going to stop the uh, video so you don't have to hear me reading it and we're back and as you can see it said enrollments done uh, we can send more enrollment if we don't like the um, authentication percentage of success values uh, by just uh, making sure we have the same name in this and hitting record again. It'll just append more uh, recorded data. So now when I go over to enrolled file, I should see, uh, here we go, uh, Brian Elgar, which is the one I just did. And um, it's got the recording in here and the time. Uh, and so now I'm enrolled. So now uh, we'll go back down to this and we'll change this from enroll to search. Uh, searching uh, really don't worry too much about these two settings um, if we need to debug things we may ask you to change them but basically it just makes sure that uh, right now it's set to be uh, difficult to make sure that we get a good match so we don't have any false positives so now that I'm in search mode I can just click on the record and say a short utterance such as uh, this is to check to see if it finds my name my name is my password so it searches through and indeed uh, you can see I have actually enrolled uh, five times and all five times it, it, it did say it was me. It did not uh, come up with a score for anybody except me, which means all the other scores were way below the tolerance. Uh, and probably my best enrollment is this one right here because that actually was uh, the one I read the most content for. Uh, the new enrollment, which is right here. So the confidence score was still still decent. Um, if I added more reading to that enrollment, it would be even higher because obviously the more enrollment it has, the more confidence it has in matching a score. So that's really all you have to do uh, when you uh, want to enroll more people. I do suggest that you always go back and refresh the screen so that you've uh, cleared everything out and you can start all over again enrolling a new person. Uh, so go ahead and, and try testing and if you have any problems at all, uh, reach out to me on Skype. Uh, my Skype name is BLG on the road. Thanks.